We're, we're here in November. We're on the eve of deer hunting season in Pennsylvania. Uh, but it's an important season for us to also continue our work in the fight against the spotted lanternfly. Uh, it's been in Pennsylvania for a couple of years, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but what we have witnessed is uh, the, the destruction that comes with this spotted lanternfly in agricultural crops, horticultural crops, you know, the, the quality of life in, the, in this community in the 13 counties here in southeast Pennsylvania. Uh, as we think about uh, what we can do uh, now that the growing season's over, the adult phase is, is behind us, the new phase uh, is really looking at the egg masses, which is what we are concerned about as we go into the field and into the forest during hunting season, is to be very observant. Uh, these egg masses begin to tell us uh, what will be our challenge in 2019. Uh, asking every hunter uh, as you go out uh, into the field to do two things. One, uh, before you pack up, is to really take a hard look at all of your equipment and supplies, you know, the deer stands, uh, your propane tanks, um, you know, your, the, the ladders, uh, even firewood, right, that you throw in the truck and, and may need uh, camping gear, all of those items become a vehicle to transport the spotted lanternfly someplace we don't want it, right? So please uh, take a look at all of the items and, and do a thorough, thorough check. Uh, and two, while you're in the, the field, uh, in your tree stand next to the tree, uh, is take a look uh, at, at the tree uh, to see if it has some uh, of these uh, egg masses, sort of like mud uh, splotches on the tree, and we'll show you some of those in a moment. Uh, but destroy them, uh, scrape them off, uh, make sure that uh, you, know, you, you, you scrape it off and uh, squish those uh, spotted lanternfly egg masses just to destroy them. We continue to believe that we can contain and suppress the spotted lanternfly uh, where it is. That is our goal. Now, this is a uh, uh, the spotted lanternfly is, is an opportunist, right? It is it is uh, a hitchhiker. That's the egg masses that are on things we're asking to look at. But also, as we witnessed during the summer, uh, it also travels uh, out to other spots. So we want to contain it. Um, but that takes a lot of work, and it takes a call to action for every hunter that will enter the field here in, in the next uh, uh, week or so. Uh, but it also is every citizen to be aware as they travel to really uh, be uh, cognizant of uh, the spotted lanternfly and obviously don't take it with you. Uh, look before you leave. Spotted lanternfly is an insect that everybody in my district, in Berks County as a matter of fact, is well aware of. It's a problem that we've faced for several years. And it's an insect that now we have a quarantine in about 13 counties in Pennsylvania to help stop the spread of this invasive pest. Interestingly enough, this is a pest that we have not seen in the Western Hemisphere until it landed in Berks County in 2014. So even though the summer and the growing season is over, we still can do our part to help control and to eradicate this invasive pest. So what do you do? One, if you're a hunter, you're out in the woods, look for those, spot, those spotted lanternfly egg masses. It looks almost like a splash of mud or putty on a tree trunk. When you see that, take a credit card or one of our special cards that we have from the Department of Agriculture to help scrape those eggs off or to smash them as well. Every egg mass that we can eradicate helps us to control pests that will be hatching in the spring and be a problem. Our hunters and folks in Pennsylvania really appreciate our forests and our woodlands, and we need to make sure that we help eradicate this pest to protect those forests and woodlands. Uh, spotted lanternflies lay their eggs in September and when the frost hits the spotted lanternflies die. However, as you take your equipment out of the woods after hunting season, you need to be very cautious on if there are egg masks on your tree stands or any other equipment that you have. These spotted lanternflies will lay their egg masses on any smooth surface from propane tanks to trees to your deer stand. So we have to make sure we don't spread this, this horrible insect any further than it already is. 
to our hunters, you can help us. Be alert, look for these egg masses, and take them off the trees if you encounter them during your time in the woods. We need your help. It's a good demonstration just how when we talk about that sooty mold and the, uh, the honeydew, mm -hmm. you can see how that's just covered. You can imagine that in, in the summer, right? Just completely covered. What do you think? Sorry, but this is one right in there. Yeah, so I think that's part of it. Go ahead whenever you're ready, you scrape it up. Yeah. 